Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today I want to talk about another sample from my Fulton and Work Discovery set. And this one's called Mattia. And it came out in 2023 and classified as an aromatic spicy with top notes of cardamom and ginger, middle notes of carrot seeds, saffron, geranium and violet, and with the base of patchouli, leather, and black amber. And Mattia is once again named after a specific place. It's uh, an island in the San Juan Islands of the state of Washington. So once again, we're going with the theme of Northwest Pacific here. Um, and as you can probably tell from the note breakdown, the leather and the patchouli, the black amber, the ginger, cardamom, this is a fragrance that's going to really do well in the cooler weather, fall, winter time. And that's certainly the case here. You do get a, a relatively sweet, leathery, violet concoction. Lots of spice from the cardamom and ginger. Uh, some of that uh, earthy patchouli in the base. Um, that's pretty much it. It does have a very designer-ish smell to it. Um, if I had to compare it with another fragrance, I would probably say maybe something in the vein of Yves Saint Laurent's La Homme Libre, which is another fragrance that I really enjoy. That has violet, patchouli, kind of a sweet smell to it as well. I believe that one had some star anise in it. This one doesn't have that star anise note, but it has a similar vibe because of that sweet violet and uh, the patchouli. So yeah, if you like like a dark, rich, sweet, leather, spicy fragrance, or uh, maybe like a tonka bean type fragrance with like a dark, mysterious smell to it, this doesn't have tonka bean in it, but I think the notes do kind of give it a slight tonka bean feel. So, uh, yeah, very pleasant smell to my nose. Not super groundbreaking or anything. Like I said, very designer-ish. Doesn't smell like something that uh, you would normally spend more than about $100 a bottle for. Um, although, I think Yves Saint Laurent's Lone Libre is discontinued, and you might end up spending that much for that one at this point, because that's how it goes with eBay sellers and things like that. But this one, yeah, I like it. Um, actually, a very nice smell. But not really groundbreaking in terms of uniqueness, in my opinion. So that's getting to some final scores here. 8 out of 10 for smell. I really do like this kind of smell. This kind of thing that I can see myself wearing every day in the winter and fall because it just has a nice, pleasant, masculine uh, scent to it. Sweet, spicy, leathery, um, ambery a little bit. So, yeah, really nice smell. Projection longevity, we'll say about 5 to 7 hours. So it does pretty well there. 7.5 out of 10. Versatility, 7 out of 10. Day wear, I think, especially in the cooler weather. Evening wear, you could probably wear it year-round when it starts to cool off a little bit. Um, probably wouldn't wear it in the high heat, wouldn't wear it to the beach or anything like that. But, yeah, most of the time this would be a pretty good fragrance to choose. Uh, uniqueness, that's probably the weakest aspect here. Um, just all those spices and the leather, patchouli, just kind of give it a pretty generic, everyday type smell that you may have smelled at one of your mall counters over the years. I think if you like Blue de Chanel, Dior Sauvage, this one kind of has that same type of mall scent to it. Uh, price point, $205 for the 50 ml bottle of extract. Overall for me, 7.5 out of 10. I really do like this smell. Um, maybe not quite as unique as I would have liked. Based on smell, it's right up there with the other ones, but uh, maybe there's like one or two other ones that I would choose over this one because they smell good and are a little bit more unique than this one. So, yeah, check it out, though, if you like sweet, spicy, leathery, rich, dark, patchouli-type fragrances. Fulton & Works, Mattia. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.